Welcome back to Inside. So, between the end of last episode and the beginning of this one, I think I figured out this puzzle. So I tried to go to the right without this vessel, just on my own, and I quickly drowned and realized I actually needed this vessel. So, to get the vessel in there, it needs to be on this side of those pipes. You see those pipes just below us and to the left? If they're on the left side, then when I press the button, which opens the door, it also drains the water and then this craft can't fit through. So, I think I just need to leave the vessel on the right side of the pipes, and then just swim a very long distance. Which I'm pretty sure is designed to scare the shit out of me, because it's such a long swim, I'm probably going to be chased on the way back. What do you bet? Wow. When am I going to get chased? I'm just waiting for it to happen. It's making me more and more nervous the more they wait, which I'm sure is on purpose. Oh. Hi there. What the hell is that thing? I don't think it can hurt me in here. It sounds horrible. I wonder if it's possible to hit it. It's like a little creepy fucking... Gremlin Mermaid. It's got a very small body, but its hair is actually bigger than its body. It just sort of seems smooth and featureless. Right, humanoid, but just everything's smooth. I don't even see a face. God, it's so fucking creepy. Alright. I'll just leave it alone for now. Oh! Oh! I don't even know how it just killed me. Thankfully I couldn't see. It can break the glass. Uh, so I need to keep an eye on it, right? I think it only came to me when I had my back to it, basically. Yep. Oh! I didn't realize when I banged into the wall I wouldn't be able to change the direction of my light. Damn. I guess I need to go up. Oh, shit, 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 shit! Oh, come on! Okay, I think I gotta break through the wood up there. Oh, that's cool. The light actually kind of stays glued to it. Sort of. It's like a little bit sticky. That's nice. piece of wood broke off. I think I need to hit it multiple times. So how do I hit it multiple times without dying? Okay, I think I see. See that wood up there? I think if I break that wood, this door is going to come slamming down, so I think I need to isolate it. 
to the other side. So kind of like push it back a little bit. Ah, oh, thank God. I'm sure, that won't be the last I see of that thing. I've been running for. I mean, it seemed dark and then there was like a little bit of light and now it's just all kind of dark again. Can't tell if it's just the world being all apocalyptic or if quite a bit of time has passed. I mean, everything seems to be real time, so I imagine no more than two or three hours have passed. Hmm. I see a ladder up there. Doesn't look like I can reach it, though. Wonder if that could be a secret? Oh, whoa. I wasn't even trying to break that. This has got to be a secret. Oh yeah. Love those animations. How is this thing even facilitating mind control? I'm trying to remember if the one... I've only disabled one of these that was actually directly connected to mind control things that I could like visibly see were turned off as soon as I disabled it. And I'm trying to remember, I'm pretty sure that that one was connected up to stuff. This one is not connected to anything. But still, it obviously was lit up and it had power somehow. Just odd. Oh fuck, I saw my own shadow and thought it was one of those mermaid things. Well, I'm sure there isn't going to be another orb down here, given that I just found one. Can we beach this thing? <laughs> Kinda. Sorta. Of. Not really. One lonely light in the background. It only didn't kill me because it was sand. Guess it would absorb a little bit. Not strong enough to lift it up on my own. Is that music or is that? an in-world sound. They're like, pew.
I think this thing needs power before I can mess with it. Yep. Oh, that's definitely an in-world sound. What the hell's back there? Oh, look at that animation. I knew there'd be something for that. Um, so this looks like a huge pressure plate. I'm guessing I need a bunch of people on this to activate it. Nineteen. It needs 20 people in total? Why do things like this exist? I have to assume this isn't here just because puzzle. Right, there's actually some function to this, but what? Why do they want 20 people, 20 servants to group up in one place? see a fine misting of dust come out on every pulse. I have the grim feeling that it's going to be like a fucking sport or something. Like a servant gladiator arena. Yeah, of course I'm not strong enough to move that. That's really heavy. Maybe something in, I guess, the basement, because there's a lower floor. So this seems like one very, very big puzzle. Oh, there's a bunch of servants down here. Uh, hmm. If I fall down, there's no way to get back up. Well, I mean, I can't go back up the same way anyway. Uh, I trust there will be another way. God, there's so much here. Where am I going? What am I doing? Oh. I can climb this. That's new.
This one's sturdy. Doesn't bend. Because okay, so all of that was just to get to this. Okay, whoa! Uh... What the hell? They're like... I guess just like... Attracted to me. I don't, I don't think they're being protective necessarily, they're just... Congregating at me. How come this thing doesn't need to be connected though? I mean, I thought the wire would be important. <laughs> Why is it working when it's not connected? Strange. Can I go in the water with this helmet? What do you bet it's going to electrocute me to death? Oh no. Just... Doesn't do anything. Alright, come along my friends. Oh! Oh! That's... weird. That's really weird. They're not behaving like they did when I was connected. Because they're not actually mimicking my movements. Right? Like, if I jump, they lift me up, but they, they don't jump themselves. It's more like teamwork. I wonder if they're somewhat conscious or what? Ooh. I don't think I want to fall down there. Um, oh, I see. I need to get them over there to get them up. Right, I need to move the track piece down, get them on the track piece, and then move them up. Okay. Uh, lift me up. Thank you, friends. Are they going to follow beneath me? Good. Wait. Aren't they all going to fall to their death? They, they won't walk off to their death, right? No, good. So are they just gonna... They're just gonna be with me for the rest of this, aren't they? Um, let's see what's over to the left. I didn't check this place. Okay, so I could have them throw me up there. Oh, hey, there's... It looks like daylight. Maybe. Oh, we just moved this thing. Not really sure what I want to do with this thing, but... Well, it looks like maybe something's going to fall through here. I don't know. Probably gonna be able to fill it with grain. Or whatever this is. Oh, they're they're moving it. They're pushing it. Hmm. Do I want to get myself inside of that thing? Do I? I don't think I do. But then again, I, I surely I'm supposed to do something with it. Maybe I do fall into it myself. Oh, it's already filled. Ah, 
Uh, so I need more of them here to be able to... To be able to, like, rip this. I feel like I could probably rip this, right? If I could try to rip it off like this, then I'm sure that I can with enough people. But in the meantime, I can go over it. And where does that leave me? Ugh. Water. Oh, I don't want to swim. Whew. Oh, a couple of them up there. Oh, they're in one of those tube things. Those are the things that I've seen around. Some of them lit up, some of them not. I wonder if those are the things where they put normal people in them and then it turns them into these servants. And I wonder if they're permanently altered, you know? Like, is it, could they go back to normal, or has their brain basically just been wiped? Oh! Oh, it's one of these lifty things. Hmm. Um, I guess... I just need a little bit more height, right? So I guess I need to do this. Oh. Wait. Wait is important. Oh, look at the little lights. Not only is the helmet just lighting up itself, but it actually very, very slightly lights up the stuff around it. Yeah. What am I supposed to do with this? Oh, I see what to do. I need to do this. Aha. Hello, friends! Hope you're okay. Follow me. Oh, one of them tripped. <laughs> A couple of them have hard hats. They just look like... I don't know, like... workers. Let's see if four of us are enough to do this. Also, what good is this? What am I... Oh. Oh, is this a secret? It is. Cool. Shit. Well, don't know why I expected anything different to happen. I thought maybe they were behind a fence or something. Can I grab this torch? Ah. Oh my god, every single thing in this game is gorgeous. Like, that torch sound and look is amazing. This is bad. Holy shit. That scared them all away? Strange. I wonder why. That was really cool. It's nice to see that these little... I mean... I guess they're like bonus things if they do indeed lead to a secret ending, right? If there's a secret ending, then that makes them sound like bonus things that aren't... You know, like, necessary for the core game. But... 
<laughs> oh man, that is so cool. Just to guarantee that you can't take it with you. That's clever. Um, yeah, so even though they're bonuses, they don't feel just like little tacked on things for... It doesn't feel like they're like made for achievement hunters or something like that, right? Like it's just kind of filler that isn't really interesting to the story. Like they feel important. They really feel important. And everything around them is is novel and interesting and makes me do new things that I haven't done previously in the game. So they're, they're really interesting to do too. Okay. Well, I guess let's go up to the next floor. I'm just thinking there's no, like they're gonna follow me around no matter what. So if I take them to that huge pressure plate, they're not going to stay on. They're not going to stay on the pressure plate, right? Not that I would necessarily want them to. I'm sure they're going to be helpful for getting for getting the other ones. That little, actually done little, that huge ticker is ominous. I forgot. Was there anything over here that I could potentially do now that I've got my entourage? Or do I have to go up another level? I think I gotta go up. Yeah, that's completely empty there. Oh, right. I can definitely push this now that we got all these people. Come on, my friends. Wow, I just realized that was a very unpleasant journey for those people that just fell. I'm actually amazed they're alive. And they must be alive because I need them, right? Okay, so other than that, I can also have all these, all my entourage, push me up across the gap over here. I'm a little bit scared. I hope this does it. Okay, whew. Are they gonna wake up when I get near? Are they just dead? God, what is through there? This glass here looks like it's partially broken. Oh. Huh. What am I doing with them? I'm not sure what my endgame is here. Am I going to revive them somehow? Oh! No! No, they're just- they're just dead. I'm not going to revive them. I'm just going to use their dead body as weight. The, uh, the pressure plate is directly beneath us. Shit. That's grim. Oh. Sorry. Oh, they even welcomed me back into their arms. Thank you. So I haven't counted exactly how many I have now, but hopefully that's enough. Let's see our friends. They doing okay? Still need to be released, or... Oh. Oh. We need their bodies, too. Oh! Oh, thank God. It's interesting. <laughs> you try to walk through them, and they sometimes just kind of, like, 
lift you up a little bit. And there's also a little bit of a vibration in the controller when you kind of run into them like this right here. A bunch of vibrations as you're kind of pushing into them. It's pretty cool. There's some really advanced behavior with my entourage. This is cool and also really creepy. I wonder if this is why they're trying to kill me. Am I somehow special? Am I special because I can sort of control them in a much more advanced way and without even having to be connected to anything? Other than just having the helmet on, I guess. Am I special because I can maybe turn their own servants against them? <laughs> that just looks so cool. Oh, I wish I could crowd surf them. Oh, we don't have enough. I need six more, or five more. Huh. Where did I miss... Where did I miss them? Oh, right! Over here! I only see one, but hopefully there's more than that inside. How many we got? No, that, that was just one. Must be more over here, then. Say, has the game saved yet? No, it still hasn't saved since a really long time ago. Hmm. I feel like if I touch the sand down there, I'm gonna die. Like, Tremors style. A giant sandworm's gonna come out of the ground. Probably not. Oh. Uh, hmm. Need enough momentum? Oof. Sorry. Ooh, this is gonna hurt. Ah, almost. <laughs> That's a cool little physics puzzle. There we go. Hello, friends. Ooh. That's gotta be all of them. <laughs>